There's something wrong with the internet. Dad, my game's not working. Is there something wrong with the internet? I can't get on my Zoom call. I'm supposed to be on a meeting. Hold on, I'll go reset the modem. Oh, hi. If you have kids, I bet this has happened in your home sometime over the past few months. Depending on your internet connection, it may have been as frequent as hearing someone on a conference call saying, can you see my screen? Or I think you're on mute. In the US, the average household has 11 connected devices. That's computers, phones, tablets, all consuming bandwidth. And while periodic daily spikes in traffic are normal, having everyone home day after day, all day every day, has dramatically increased the load on the home network and the ISPs. So how much bandwidth are we gonna need? Well, we can think about data and bandwidth much like water through a pipe, with water being the data and bandwidth being the pipe. An average home's pre-COVID usage probably looks something like this. A steady drip of usage throughout the day, transitioning to more of a stream in the evenings and on weekends. Here, there's plenty of capacity left in the pipe for more water if needed. But when COVID hit, the stream probably increased to something like this and was constant throughout the day with everyone home. Depending on your home bandwidth, this increase might have looked something like this with capacity still available, or like this, completely maxed out. This is a graph of the data usage at my house since the pandemic began. It increased by about a factor of four from January to August. I happen to have a 200 megabit per second connection. And even with this increase, I didn't notice a drop in the speed or quality of service. Let's assume that a 200 megabit connection was necessary to handle the increase in usage caused by the pandemic. There are about 100 homes in my development, and if they all had this level of service, the total neighborhood bandwidth would be about 20 gigabit per second. This is TE's next gen cable. It is capable of supporting data rates up to 112 gigabits per second, enough bandwidth for five to six communities like mine. This type of cable is known as TwinX. It consists of parallel primary conductors surrounded by a dielectric material and wrapped in a conductive shield. It has been highly engineered to carry high frequency differential signals needed in data center applications. The ever increasing need for bandwidth shows no sign of slowing down and TE's cable products are being designed to make sure you get more of this and less of this.